Hi everyone, um, it's really lovely to be able to talk to you. I don't know where you are, uh, I'm just in my own home. Um, maybe you're listening with your mum or your sister or your brother. Uh, maybe you're listening on the Zoom Sunday school meeting. Um, maybe you're just listening at, at, at another time. Well, I'm going to read the Gospel for us uh, for this Sunday and then uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit about that and what it might mean for us. First of all, I'm going to light a candle to remind us that Jesus is right beside you and right beside me as we listen to his word. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, a light no darkness can quench. <clears throat> Listen to the Gospel of Christ according to St. Matthew. The Pharisees, that's the religious leaders and teachers, went away to work out how they could trap Jesus. And they sent their disciples to Jesus, uh, together with some others, and they said to Jesus, Master, we know that you are an honest man, and that you teach the way of God in an honest way, and that you are afraid of no man. Tell us your opinion. Should we pay taxes to Caesar? or not. But Jesus was well aware that they were just trying to trap him. And he replied, you hypocrites, why do you set this trap for me? Let me see the money with which you pay your taxes. And they handed him a denarius, which is a coin. And he said, whose head is on this coin? And they said, Caesar's head. Well then, said Jesus, give back to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, but give to God what belongs to God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Do you know there were people who really loved Jesus? And the people who really loved him were children, because Jesus said children come first, and he made them welcome, and he told the adults to back off when he was speaking to children. The poor really loved Jesus, because he came to bring them good news. And he said that they matter to God and that what he wanted was a world where no one was poor. And then people who thought they were no good and people who'd been told all their lives that they were rubbish, they loved Jesus because he brought them love and forgiveness and new life. But there were other people who just hated Jesus, you know, the, the, lots of the powerful people, the rich people, the rulers. And in the gospel story today, they want to trap him. They want to set a trap for him. And so they ask him this really tricky question. They said, should we pay taxes to Caesar? Now, Caesar was the Roman king. Caesar was the Roman king who ruled uh, the land of Israel. Israel didn't belong to the Romans, but they came and conquered it. And then they made the people pay money. They made them pay taxes. Some of that money, the Romans used to do good things. They built roads and they built these um, uh, aqueducts, these uh, kind of things that could bring water to towns and cities. And uh, they did other things that were good, but they did other things that were very cruel and oppressed people. So they asked this question to trap Jesus, because if Jesus says, no, we shouldn't pay taxes to Caesar, he, he, he shouldn't be ruling our land and taking our money. Well, there's, there were Roman soldiers who were just going to go and arrest him straight away and kill him straight away. 
But if Jesus said, yes, we should pay taxes to Caesar, then lots of his fellow countrymen would say, but Jesus, Caesar's a cruel king. Caesar claims that he's God, that he's the Lord, and he's not. So whatever Jesus said, it would get him into trouble. So Jesus does something that is very clever. He says, well, show me this money that you use. And they show him a coin and they say, and Jesus says, whose head is on this coin? And even you can't see it. This is a, a little coin here and it's got if you look at any coins, it'll always have, uh, in this country, the queen's head on. That's because um, Elizabeth, she, she's the queen of this country. Well, the money they were using had Caesar's head on it. And Jesus as well. If you use Caesar's money, then give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. But the way Jesus said that was very clever. What he was saying, is this what Caesar wants? Is this what he wants? Well, let's give him what he wants then. Let's give Caesar. You want, you want this Caesar? Yeah, you, yeah, we'll give you what you want, Caesar. Oh, oh yeah, we're going to give you. We're, we're going to give it to you, Caesar. So even though he was saying words that could seem like he was just surrendering to Caesar, really, he said it in a way that says, Caesar, you watch out. Because the next thing Jesus says is, but give to God what belongs to God. Give Caesar what, what belongs to Caesar. But give to God what belongs to God. And what belongs to God? Well, everything, like the air we breathe, the fact that we're alive at all, our lives, our hearts, everything belongs to God. And here's the thing. If Caesar says anything that is against what God says, well, we listen to God and not to Caesar. Because, we, because Caesar is not our, our Lord. Caesar's not our king. That's God. And what belongs to God? What do we owe to God? We owe our love we owe our loyalty. And what does God want from us? Not taxes. God wants justice, that, that we all treat each other fairly. God wants us to make a world where no one's hungry, where children matter, where no one is forgotten and no one is left out, and where the earth is treated with great respect because it's God's earth. Give to God what belongs to God. glass of water. Nothing can live without water. You know, when I was, um, when I was a child, uh, my little brother um, always called all water, you know, he called all of it water of life. Because we used to sing a, a song in school called this water, water of life. Jesus gives us the water of life. And he thought, he thought the name for all water was water of life. So if he asked for a glass of water, he said, oh, can I, can I have some water of life, please? And it is water of life. This autumn, our church is collecting money for Water Aid. And Water Aid is a charity that works in countries where children and men and women don't have, um, taps to give them to bring them drinking water. They don't have even a well that's nearby to to give them uh, clean drinking water. And they might not even have things like um, to um, toilets or easy places to wash themselves. And so the money we give to water aid helps to bring clean water and the water for things we need for washing to people and villages and communities that don't have it. Um, and they don't have it for all sorts of reasons. The climate is changing because of all the pollution we make, and that means there's, there's more drought sometimes. But for all sorts of reasons that are not the fault of the people, they don't have water. What 
give to God what belongs to God, what belongs to God, that we make this world a fairer place. And this autumn we're supporting water aid because we want to make it fairer for all the children and all the people in our world that don't have clean water. I'm going to say a prayer for us now, okay? You can say Amen at the end of it. Lord, may we give to you what belongs to you, our hearts, our loyalty, our listening ears, and help us to give to you the fairness and the kindness, the justice, the making this world a better place for all your children, because that belongs to you, and we belong to you, and we thank you that we belong to you. Amen.